Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do form validation in Flutter. Right now, I have a template with absolutely nothing. So, I am going to wrap the UI, the UI with a form widget. Let's make it a child of form. And I'm going to add some widgets. One will be a text form field with a keyboard type text input text and a decoration let's give a hint as a little text name and I'm going to copy that I'm going to create another text field text form field with a number type and let's give it age now let's run that and you can see both the text form fields now I'm going to create a raised button, a child text and give it save and on trust I'm going to save validate form and save. Let's create the function. Okay, I'm going to print validating form. Okay. Now so we can see the button. Now I'm going to give some padding so make the UI little bit nice. Let's copy that and, and paste inside the padding so now it looks okay. All right. Now I'm going to create a, a variable form key to identify our form. So that will be a new global key with type form state. So this is important. Alright, now I am going to our form widget and supply the key property with our variable form key. Okay, so that's going to identify our form. Now I am going to give a um, so if you kill, let's uh, give some values in the text field and let hit hit save so no validation is there now i am going to give some validation so that will be validator now validator will return the value of the widget and when it returns i'm going to check if if it is empty if it is empty i'm going to say enter name or it will return null i'm going to do the same thing with the age text form field I'm going to say enter age. Now, okay. So the validation is still not complete. To be to be complete, we are going to say form dot current state dot use the inbuilt function validate. It's going to run through all the validate functions inside the form widget. And if it all returns true, then it will be successful. Else, if any of the validation fails, then it's going to return false. Now, if it is if it is failing, we are going to print an error. Validation error. Now let's run that. So with all the values, it looks okay. Now let's uh, look at the deeper console so you can see that the validation was successful. I'm clearing that and I'm going to clear the values as well in the UI and let's click the save button. There you can see the validation failed and you can see the messages in the UI. Okay. Now we are going to save the values. So we are going to save the values to two instance variables name and age so form provides an inbuilt function to save the values so let's call form key dot current state dot save so it's going to trigger the on saved function of all the widgets form widgets inside the form widget okay so let's say on saved so that's an inbuilt function it's going to return the value of that widget and when it returns we are going to assign that value to the instance variable 
here it is name so I'm going, I'm going to go copy that and use it in the age text field I'm going to change it to age okay let's hot reload and let's give some values hit the save button okay no error now let's print the values let's see if the instance variables has those values name and dollar name and we will print the age as well dollar age all right let's run again okay let's open the console the debug console we should see the values okay there it is now let's change the values and see if it is updating okay let's change to 25 save it so you see the values has changed now you're going to remove one of the values and you see the validation is also working so the console will throw as so you see the validation error so let's circle back and see what are the things we have done so you need to use the validator function in the form fields and when you save you can use the on saved function so the current state dot validate will loop through all the validator functions of the widgets inside the form with form widget and if it all returns true the validation will be successful so if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching